If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know how much I enjoy ESR accessories on my iPhones. From the case on my iPhone 11 in my third ever video, to cases and halo lock accessories on my iPhone 13 Pro. Even last year as some accessories for the iPhone 14s. Now I've got my iPhone 15 Pro ESR, have again been kind enough to send some more protective accessories that are compatible with this year's range. So ESR have sent five of their new cases and their ultra tempered glass screen protector set, all which are compatible for every Pro and non-Pro iPhone 15. So if you're looking to level up the protection on your phone, let's have a look at all of these. This is the clear case, part of ESR's Zero series. For those of you who want the basic case with no fuss, then this is the case for you. This lightweight transparent case is made entirely out of the flexible TPU and it fits firmly and snugly on your phone. All of the buttons are very responsive and clicky, which you'll notice is a common advantage of all of these ESR cases. The cutouts for the speakers and the USB-C port are precise. I've got a number of different size USB-C cables and I've never had any issue with the size of them fitting in the gap for the port. ESR's air guard corners on each of the four corners are going to provide your phone with shock absorbing protection if it falls. With this case on, the screen clearance is 1.2 millimeters, while the camera module clearance is 0.7 millimeters. One of the main issues with transparent cases is their ability over time to go yellow. With all of the transparent cases in this video, and in particular this Zero series case, within its TPU body is a high grade polymer that not only prolongs that occurrence of yellowing, but also aims to reduce the wet look familiar to other transparent cases. If you look carefully across the surface of the case, you'll see those micro dots that help achieve this. And if you run your fingers across the inside surface of the case, you'll feel that textured finish. While this is the only case that isn't MagSafe compatible, as there isn't that familiar halo lock ring that you'll notice on other ESR cases, which means that magnetic connection just isn't as strong at any point other than horizontal. It's still compatible with standard horizontal line wireless chargers and the MagSafe charging puck itself, but even if I attach something like this wireless power bank, you'll notice that it just slips off in this position. So if you're looking for a simple case that just protects your phone is lightweight and helps retain as much of the phone's natural aesthetic, then this Zero Series clear case could be a good option for you. Now let's move on to the next two cases. These are the hybrid cases, both part of ESR's classic series. There is one main differentiating factor between these almost two identical cases, and that's the stash stand, which I'll come onto in a moment. Let's look at the non-stash stand hybrid case first. You've got that snap application that you get when you're fitting all ESR cases. So you know you've got that secure fit and it's easy to remove if you need to. It features the same air guarded corner for drop protection and detailing in the cutouts. While the Zero clear case was a lot more all round flexible, the hybrid cases aren't fully made out of that TPU, only on the frame, which shows in that rigid body, which is made out of a scratch resistant clear acrylic, which houses that familiar halo lock ring and makes these cases MagSafe compatible. And as a result, this ESR MagSafe case is thinner back, means that any wireless or MagSafe connected charging is gonna result in charging speeds of up to an hour quicker than other regular cases. What I like about ESR's MagSafe system is that it is magnetically stronger than other MagSafe compatible cases. It's able to apply a holding force of 1500 grams to another MagSafe accessory. And if you use another ESR MagSafe product like a car mount or a wireless charger, that strength between the two is even stronger. The non stash stand cases bezels are raised to 1.2 millimeters from the screen and 0.7 millimeters raised from the camera module. On the hybrid case with the stash stand, because of that stand, it adds probably about 0.3 millimeters or so to the clearance from the camera module. The do-it-all stash stand made out of a durable zinc alloy. It doesn't simply just pop out. You can feel that resistance and tension when you do open it. And with that tension, it feels like no matter what position you have it in, your phone is always going to be securely propped up. Whether thanks to its patented design is in the slightly elevated and tilted portrait scroll position or in the landscape watch mode where it can accommodate any tilt securely from 15 to 85 degrees. And if you've got one of these wireless charging banks, you can put it on while you're watching your favorite content. And when you finish, the stash stand simply clicks back into place. This classic hybrid case is available in clear, like this one, clear black, so the frame and accenting around the halo will be black, and frosted black. So accented and framed black, and instead of that transparent black, you'll have a frosted one. 
You can also get this classic hybrid case, the one without the stand, in a set which features the case, lens protectors for each of the cameras and a screen protector. So if you're not keen on transparent cases and prefer silicon cases like myself, then why not try these ones? These are the Cloud Series soft cases. Personally, I've been using this soft case with the stash stand for the last week. I myself, I'm not too fussed about seeing the color of my phone, which is why I'm usually attracted to these soft silicon cases and have been for all the iPhones that I've had. Both of these are available in black, dark blue, and light tan. I've always loved the feel of silicon cases in my hands and these cases are no different. They give you good grip and that peace of mind that your phone is going to be protected from drops, dust, and scratches. Inside the case, there's a soft velvety lining surrounding that polycarbonate back, making these soft cases the most rigid cases out of all the cases in this video. While we can see that this case is essentially the same as this hybrid case because of the stash stand, with the only difference being the opacity and what it's made out of, you're getting all of those do it all stand features like this case. But it's the difference that this soft case has, which the others don't, and many other cases from other manufacturers don't as well, which is that further protection around the camera lens. Just like the detailing around the speakers and the USB-C port, you've got that same attention to detail that allows the case's lining to seamlessly fit around the iPhone's lenses, the flash, and the LiDAR sensor, further protecting those individual lenses and stopping dust from getting into those hard to clean places on the camera bump and around the lenses. These cases have that same 1.2 millimeter bezel clearance from the screen, but the camera guard on this case raises the bezels to one millimeter, and on the stash stand case raises it to 1.3 millimeters. These, like the hybrid cases, are also MagSafe accessory compatible, although they provide less magnetic force at 200 grams compared to the 1500 grams that the hybrid cases have, but it's still stronger than the official Apple MagSafe cases. While I've been using this soft case, I have noticed the tendency for those fine dust particles to be attracted to the case. Not really an issue for me because simply a wipe away with my hand and the case is back to being clean again. Same with fingerprints. While all of these cases can show fingerprints, they don't stand out a lot and can just simply be wiped away. So that's the new ESR cases for the iPhone 15 range. You've got cases here that will suit most people. The one in the clear case for someone just looking for protection, the ones in the classic series hybrid cases for someone looking to add MagSafe accessories to the protective nature of the case, and the cloud cases for someone who doesn't like transparent cases but still wants that protection and MagSafe compatibility. And within those classic and cloud cases, you can choose whether you want a do-it-all stand. For the added convenience of propping your phone up in either portrait or landscape orientation, or even hold the phone in ring mode when you just haven't got enough hands to carry everything. All of these cases feature that military grade protection. They're built to last for the lifetime of your phone and for the ESR MagSafe cases, provide some of the strongest locks around. So you've got a case, but you still want more protection. The last place to go now is with a screen protector. I'd previously never been someone who'd put a screen protector on my phone until I put an ESR screen protector on my iPhone 13 Pro. It's only when you take the screen protector off after two years and you realize those minor scratches on the protector aren't actually on your phone screen, which is still actually in pristine condition. Now I'm a full convert to the Amorite screen protector. So while I talk about this screen protector, I'm just gonna show you exactly how easy it is to apply it to your phone. In the box, you get three screen protectors, each giving you up to three years worth of scratch resistance, one set of lens protectors with up to one year's worth of scratch resistance for those lenses, and the application tools that you'll need to apply the protectors to your phone. This screen protector, like the cases, features military grade protection, ensuring that it can withstand 110 pounds of force, over 10,000 scratches, and a four foot ball drop. The protector gives full screen protection with its micro curved edges. A special coating on the protector to stop those annoying oils, water, and dust particles from sticking to the protector, and its ability not to interfere with the face ID recognition, the camera quality when the protectors are on the lenses, or give you a distinct feeling that you're touching something other than the screen of your phone, then I recommend that if you've got any concerns about the screen, then attach one of these screen protectors to your phone. After a while, you'll not even realize that you've got one on there, but you'll be grateful that you did if anything were to happen. So that's all of these ESR protective accessories for your iPhone 15. Easy to apply, offer military grade protection, easy MagSafe options, whether that be chargers or accessories, and a do-it-all stand that allows you to watch, scroll, use MagSafe, 
or carry. That should help you make that decision if you want to protect your phone. Thanks to ESR for providing these cases for this video. It's greatly appreciated. I'll leave links to everything in this video in the description below. And if you're looking for other MagSafe and Halo accessories like this wireless power bank or this wireless charging hub, then check out these videos after this one. Thanks for watching. Press that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.